Martha Alderson here, the Plot Whisperer. I'm back for another segment. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the four energetic scene markers. So what would that be under? I guess that would be under the glossary. So this is a plot glossary series entry. So um, there are four major scenes. There are more than just four, but there are four that can really help you anchor your story. So that if you know these four scenes and you have them in place and you feel pretty secure that these are the biggest turning points in the story and that they arrive where they need to be energetically in the story to fulfill the expectations that your readers and your audiences come to expect. Um, so these are moments in a story that turn the energy in a completely new direction. It's a way to... Um, you know, the, the, the scenes that come before are building to these most momentous moments in the story themselves. And there are four of them. And there are actually four parts of a story. So there's one energetic marker in each one of the four parts. And if you know those, it makes the parts so much easier to create because you're working to develop all the scenes that will lead up to this great moment. So at the beginning of the story, the first quarter is the beginning, it's introductory, I go into all that with my books and, you know, all the different things that I write about. And the, the biggest moment is the end of the beginning. It happens at the one quarter mark. It's very consistent in every single book that I analyze, old classics, you know, new contemporary books, every sort of memoir, novel, screenplay has this moment at exactly the one quarter mark where everything shifts. You, the character moves from the old world into a new world. And that can be either, um, you know, physically, they go into an exotic world that they've never been to before, or it's a mindset. They all of a sudden, something has happened and their belief system has been so turned upside down that now they're in the world without that belief system anymore. And that becomes an exotic world for them. And that's the world of the middle. Uh, the second one is the recommitment scene that happens at the right in the middle of the story. So it ends the first half of the middle. And that's just a moment where, you know, the character recommits to what they're doing. The readers get um, grounded and knows what's happening because then what comes next is the next energetic marker, which is the crisis. That's the biggest moment in the story so far. It's about three quarters of the way through the project. It's the dark night of the soul. It's when everything is ripped away. The character thinks they're getting nearer and nearer and nearer what they want. And then boom, everything is gone and everything is worse than they ever thought. Um, and that's the high point at the three quarter mark. After that, the energy drops. And then the last part of the story is the, the biggest turning point is the climax. And that's what the whole entire story is building to. It's the last chapter or scene before the very end of the book. Um, and then the end is the resolution. So that's kind of quickly going through these four energetic markers. But they're really great to be aware of. Watch for them when you watch movies. Look for them when you read a book. The next time you read a book, take a post-it note and put it on every, you know, divide the full page count into quarters and put a post-it note at each quarter and start to look for these scenes coming up that are these big sort of momentous scenes that you need to develop in your piece. So, thank you for coming. I'll see you again.